Folks, appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm Rocky Drake, Rocky Drake Outdoors. There he is. Look at this crop. I don't know. No, oh God, big crop is on. I got him a crappie. Oh Lordy, how, oh God, he got off. Y'all seen him, didn't you? Yeah, I should have got the net. Did you see that, Andy? <laughs> hey, that a monster. That makes me want to. Wait a minute, let me get the lighting just right so y'all can see my face. Folks, that makes me want to puke. It's a big crappie, oh Lord have mercy. I seen that hook. Barely had him right there in the lift. Today, I got my good friend Andy with me here. It's the first time me and him fished together. And uh, we met out here on the river and got to be good friends. So he come down, he, we're gonna fish a little while this afternoon. And then tomorrow we're gonna fish. So we're gonna get y'all a good video. Now we might be fishing two different lakes. Right now I'm on Gunnersville Lake. Tomorrow we'll be fishing Wheeler Lake. Maybe, unless we come back here, but it's a big crappie, oh Lord have mercy. Right here's what I hooked that old crappie on. Red fin shad, a little small one, about three inches long. We just caught the bait up here. Bait with no trouble to catch, a lot of it. Now folks, this is the first time Andy's ever live bait fished. Ever live bait fish. Always do artificial plastic, use jigs. Get him, Andy. You got him, son, you got him. What is it? Andy's got one. Is it a crappie? A little spotted bass. <laughs> is that your first live bait fish? First one. <laughs> right now I'm sitting out here and y'all see it right there? 28, 30 foot of water, and the water temperature is 50, what is that? Can't say, got I think it's 55. Folks, I'm gonna tell you something right here. The main thing when you're out here fishing is to have fun while you're doing it. Ain't that right, Andy? That's right. He's, see there, he Absolutely. knows. Absolutely. Can't get all serious about it. Oh no, uh oh. You got him, Andy. You got him, ain't you, son? He put the hook on him that time. What is it? Oh, oh what is it? Oh, God, God what a crop, <laughs> Look at that thing. Hey, I want to measure that. See how long it is, y'all. <laughs> About 13 inches. 13 inches. Yeah, that's a good that's one. That's a Andy. good one. Lord have mercy, that's two big crappies we done had on. Get him, Andy. I'm ready. <laughs> I, believe, I believe Andy's a little excited back there. Now we could catch spotted bass here. We could catch smallmouth bass here, largemouth bass here. We could catch sauger, crappie and catfish we can catch catfish this is just our first stop this morning right here let's see what time it is right now it is uh 908 right here and uh it took us about an hour to catch bait and we just we just started to fish here andy you getting a bite ain't you he getting a bite back there y'all you got him boy is it a good one? Oh my god is it big one? oh it's a hog is it a hog Oh, that's gonna be a big, oh Lord. Oh my goodness, oh my what a God, spotted so bass, bad. Andy. Oh <laughs> my God, wow. <laughs> we just got here. <laughs> that's a good in there, boy, look at that, y'all. Wow, look at that chunk. Well, Andy, <laughs> that's a nice in there, buddy. Look at what he eats, y'all. Look at that, look at that manner right there, boy. That's a gizzard chad. Good deal, Andy. This morning, we had a different lake. We're here on Whaler Lake. And we just got here. And Andy just caught him a nice big spotted bass. And this is the first time that Andy has ever live bait fished. So, hey, we're starting out pretty good. How you like this live bait fishing, Andy? <laughs> it's awesome. I love it. <laughs> Done a lot of fishing, but this takes the cake right All right, let's catch another one, y'all. Now, we fishing right here to mouth this little creek right here. Main river channel's out here. So this bait's moving up in the mouths of these creeks right now and these big fish, like Andy just caught, they're, they're, they're following this bait up. So that's basically the situation we have right here. Now we're gonna start out right here and uh, see what we can catch. And then later on, we may move on up the river and uh, see if we can find some, you know, different places to fish. Show y'all a couple different places. We'll catch us a bubble fish for long. You get another bite, Andy? Yeah. <laughs> Andy getting him another bite down there. He's on there. Get it. You got him, son. Oh my God. Is that another good one? Oh, oh Andy. This is a horse right here. Oh, Lord, another big one, Andy. Done got oh back to back big ones. He's got my drag. Is he pulling drag, Andy? Oh, my God. Huh? Let me get back oh, here. He's a horse. Is he a horse? Let's see what he is. Goodness. Oh, oh my, my God. Oh, my God. This is a bubble fish. Oh, 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 oh. Look at there. Look oh, at my God. Look at what a body bass. Oh, 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 my gosh. Look at that. Wow. Now that's, that's a heck of a fish. We're gonna have to weigh that one for you. 
He just throwed up at it right there. <laughs> That's awesome right there. That's what it's all about. <laughs> wow. Oh, Andy, he's now, on him. He got to hang his live bait fish. I'm going to get my bubble scales out, y'all, and we're going to weigh this fish right here. Yeah. This, this, is, this is definitely a bubble fish. I don't ever like to get my bubble scales out until we catch a big fish. Anyway, bring your bad luck. So. Oh, woo, he's trying to jump out there. Look at that, boy. Okay, settle down there, big one. All right, let's see what he weighs. Wait a minute, it'll, it'll lock in, man. I love these bubbles. There you go, Andy. See right there. Four pounds, one ounce. That's a four pound Boy. spotted bass, four pound, one ounce. That's a heck of a fish, Andy. Folks, here's the best part of this right here. See, Andy gonna let this big, pretty Kentucky spotted bass loose or somebody else can enjoy catching it. Sometimes these fish in the mouths, of the, there'll be one little rock down there and they'll get, there'll be several of these fish behind that one rock. And if you can find that one little yeah. spot, like Andy, see, he's right back here where that rock is, and them fish are back in behind that rock, and and he's putting that bait down there where they're at, and they're just they're just grabbing it. I mean, and this time of the year, a lot of these, especially spotted bass, will, will travel in wolf packs, so there there'll be several of them together. And when you uh, when you find them like that, they compete for the food. I think he just got another bite. You getting a bite? He's tapping on it. He's saying he's snapping on it, but uh, they compete for that food, so it makes them more the bite more aggressive, and that's why when they grab it, they'll run off with it because they're. So I've I've caught bass, spotted bass before, where I'll get them up to a boat, and there'll be three more about the same size chasing it, trying to take that minnow out of their mouth. So that's what we got going on right here. Okay, I'm gonna try over here. Why Andy tries over there? So you got the current coming right down through here. You just want them, you want to put enough weight down there so it can just tickle the bottom. Just tickle it, just tickle it a little bit as it drifts down through here. That's all, that's what you want. So I'm going to walk to the back of the boat. And by walking to the back of the boat, you get a longer, you get more drift out of your manner. Starts up there as you walk, so it can go right on back through yonder. There he is. Yeah, I'm going to have to net this one. Oh, Lord, he's just right up on the boat. Nice big spotty bass. Oh, Lord, he's pulling drag, too. Yeah, oh, Lord, I missed him. Come here, fish. Oh, wow. There's that's another good one. That's <laughs> a real nice one. Look how fast these fish are. Lord have mercy. Don't y'all look at right wow. there. That's a nice one. Look at that, that little hook right there. Just got him right there in the corner of the mile. Here he come up and grabbed it. I'm telling you, dude. Look at that. That's a nice fish. Not a bubble fish, but a nice fish. Yeah. Oh Lord, I love catching them. Oh, there he went. Now, I'm gonna show y'all right here. Now, we got some, we got threadfin shad, yellowtails, what, what I call, well, boy, they feisty too. See, you want a feisty minute. See right there. The reason we call them yellowtails is I'll show you right here. You see see that chartreuse tail on them is yellow. Them yellowtails. And then, we've got these little gizzard shad like this. And they, oh Lord, they feisty too. You get you a good bait tank. You get you a good bait tank, like extreme bait tank right here, you'll have feisty bait, that's for sure. So, now, I'm gonna hook me up another, another little minnow right here. See if we can't do it again. Just throwing it out there. Now we're sitting in the slack part right here of the water. You can see the currents coming down the big river like this, and the edge of the currents right there. Now what these fish will do, they just swimming around out in here, and they'll just move up here and feed, and they'll move out. So, just because you sit here for ten minutes, don't get a bite, don't mean nothing. Because you, could, they, they could be a, a group of them move up in here and, and have a big feeding frenzy going on, and you could catch some real big fish just within a matter of just a minute or two. Here he is, right here. It's gonna be a big fish. There he is. I don't know what it is. Uh, I think it's a big spot. I think maybe. Let's see. Oh yeah, another good one. Another good one. Uh, Andy's got one back here too. You got him, Andy? Yeah. Andy's got one. Oh. And I got one. Andy got him a white bass back here. <laughs> hey, as long as you catch a fish, that's what it's all about. Okay, let's turn it loose. Need to check my line. I done caught a couple of fish. Just make sure there's no little nicks. Oh Lord. It is. See right there? I'm gonna give her one more lick here. Watch me get broke off and be crying. I ought to, I ought to retie. Is this a fish? Uh oh. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, 
It is a fish. Yeah. And a big one, too. Oh, my God. Goodness. Need the net. Oh, uh, there's a good spot. Yeah, a good spotted bass. Boy, I got him right here. I get the net, Andy. Oh, it's a good one. Oh Look at that, Andy. That's okay. Just keep fishing, buddy. I got him. Wow. That's a, that's a good one there, too. Oh, oh look at that one. Yeah. I'll let y'all look at here. Boy, hold on. That's a butter ball. See little hooks right here, little number two hooks. See, like I use. Think about these hooks right here. They don't do much damage to the fish's mouth when you catch one. So they just come right out. A big old hook, you'll, you'll get, you'll, it'll damage the fish's mouth a little bit more. But if y'all look down in there, y'all see down in there, let me, let me get that just right. There's a big minnow tail sticking out right there. See that? Look at that boy. Look, what, look at the gold colors in this fish. That's just an absolutely beautiful fish right there. Y'all see that minnow tail down there? Nice. nice fish, chunk. A little chunk, a little chunk right there, boy. I don't know, two and a half, three pounds. Folks, what we done here, we moved out just a little bit further out here in, in the river channel. As y'all can tell right here. So we moved further out. Right in the edge of the current right here. Sometimes you just kind of kind of mess around here. Move your boat around a little bit till you find where they're at and find the seat. And then, and then set your boat with a spot lock right here. And then go to catch it. Yeah. Oh, one just grabbed it. Did it? Oh yeah. That's a pretty good size minner too. Right? He may be swimming up river with it. He is swimming up river with it. There you go, man. He sure is. There he is. Let's see what this is. Oh look at what a crappie. Is that a crappie? Oh, I ain't joking with you. Is that a crappie? That's a big white bass, it looks like. Huh? It looked like a crappie. Oh, sorry. I thought it was a crappie. <laughs> I was like, man, that's <laughs> It did. The color of it? Yeah. That right there, y'all. That's a fine eating fish right there. I thought that was a crappie. You got him, Andy? There you go. Put the hooks on. You got him that time. Is that a good one? That's a good one. Look at him right back up here, y'all. Oh my God. What is it, Andy? Uh, Should I get the net? Oh, it's a big one, whatever it is. Oh, oh. look. Get Can you bring him around here, yeah, Andy? Yeah. Look around, he's got a, boy, he's got a whopper of spotted oh. bass. Get him around here, Andy. That's a big old spot. Yeah, that's a nice one, boy. Oh, Lord, come here. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Andy. Oh, there you go, brother. Man. Pick him up and show folks. Look at that one. Oh my gosh. Oh, Andy doing good on this live bait fishing considered. Love it. it. Is this first a, time ever. It, first time he ever fished live bait. He's, 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 he's got a knack for it. He showed up. Anytime you throw a minner out there and he goes down and you feel that minner getting real nervous, jumping around like that, you might as well get ready. Because that minnow right there, he can sense when there's a big predator fish around there. And he gets real nervous. And you can, you can feel it in your line, especially if you hold your line on your finger like that right there, like I do. See right there? You can feel it through that line into your finger. What I really want to do, folks, today is put Andy on a big smallmouth bass. So that's my goal today, fishing this part of the river right here. So let's see if we can get that done. Put the lick on. <laughs> that's a big one. That's, a, that's what we got here. Hold on, let me get the net. It's gonna be a big one. Oh, that's a big fish there. Andy got him a good one. We just pulled up here to the dam. Look at that, son. Oh, it's a small mouth. Oh, it's a big small mouth. Oh, it's a small mouth. This is what we come for. It sure oh. is. Look at that big small mouth. So good. Andy. Oh, oh. 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 oh my God. <laughs> there's, there's that's it right mouth. there. There's your small mouth, brother. That's that's what we come for. Oh my gosh. Let me get back here where you want to see. Show folks where you got him up there. Just see right there, right in the right in the roof of the mouth. Let me help you there, bud. There we go. There we go. Tell you what, Andy, that is a beautiful small mouth. That's what we wanted to get. I on love there. spotted bass, but I don't think there's a beautiful, more beautiful fish than a small mouth. Absolutely I mean, these not. are just gorgeous fish and just <laughs> I love to catch them. Now folks. That's right there what I wanted uh, Andy to catch right there. 
smallmouth bass. He done got him a couple big spotted bass. Now he's got him a nice smallmouth. We just come up here to the dam and we just got here and that's about the first or second throw. Look at there, y'all, what a beautiful fish. Nice smallmouth bass. Revive him real good. Let him oh, she goes. There he goes. I tell you what, Wow, Andy. that's awesome. <laughs> I Adrenaline rush. Yeah. Woo. All right, Andy, tell folks about your setup right there, what you got. So what we're using here is a Shimano 3000 Vanford mm -hmm. reel. The rod is a Phoenix, and the whole setup is probably not but three to four ounces at the most. Wow. Um, everybody's got an opinion, but in my opinion, the Shimano reel, you can't beat on my, I've got Abu Garcia, Daiwa, Obviously, we're not promoting any brand, but I love the Shimano Vanford. I love the Sustain reels. My favorite, super light. You can fish all day with them. And uh, if you look at it, like this right here, and you do this, you can tell it's really well balanced. Yeah. And so it's real balanced, and that's what I pay attention to when I'm buying a, a reel and a rod and putting them together. So, yeah. Did you get another lick? Oh, Andy's got nothing on back here. You got Oh, my. Oh, gosh. Big one. Here's a toe. With, oh, it's a hoss. Hey, is this a spot or a large mouth? He's a bubble fish for sure. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Gosh. Come in here, you big hound dog. Oh, oh, oh. Look oh, at that gosh. big one. Are wow. you having a good time today? The best. This is awesome. This is what it's all about right here. I tell you what, oh, Andy, he's putting it on him today. <laughs> he just got him another bubble fish. <laughs> We're going to weigh him to say here. Oh, Lord just pulled up here and he done got him a small mouth and then got this big bubble fish i'm gonna see what he weighs oh lord look at you. see what he got it'll set in a minute five nine five nine five nine there she went look, look back there. just taking her time wow it's a beautiful beautiful sight to let him go okay <laughs> hey i'm having fun yeah. Folks, appreciate y'all tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.